Welcome, everybody. It's great to see you. I want to talk to you about a very important body buddy, the one who sometimes wears a white coat and a stethoscope. That's right, the doctor. Now, we go to the doctor for two reasons. The first is when we're sick and we need some help getting better. And the second is when we go for a wellness checkup to find out how healthy we are and how we've grown. Now, you may not realize it, but the doctor is only one half the story. The other half is you. Learn to become a good patient. You and the doctor are part of a wellness team. You're on the same side. Now you may be afraid of the doctor, so scared that you want to scream. But it changes things when you remember that the doctor and you are a team. You're a team, a team. I like peaches and cream, hot water and steam. A tea, a tea, like a stitch in a seam. You're a team. It's important to be a good patient. It's something that you ought to learn. So the doctor and you can work better and better together each time you return. You're a team, a team. Like peaches and cream, hot water and steam. A tea, a tea. Like a fish in a stream, you're a tea. The more your doctor knows about you and the more comfortable you feel when you go for a wellness checkup, the better your doctor can help you take good care of your body. But if there's something the doctor says or does that you don't understand, well, don't be afraid to ask questions. If there's something you don't know or fear, just step right up and say to the doctor, please answer in a way that is clear. We're a team, a team. I like peaches and cream, hot water and steam. A team, we're a team. Like a stitch in a seam, we're a team. Like moon and beam, sleep and dream, peaches and cream, we're a team. Um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to look at you, and I'm going to look at parts of your body, your heart, your lungs, your tummy, your eyes, your ears, your nose, your throat. None of what I'm going to do is going to hurt. Now, if you do have any questions while I'm looking at you, then I want you to ask me. Now, I want you to take a deep breath in and out like this. Keep doing that, that's great. Okay. Do you want to listen to your own heart? No? Okay. This is my ear looker, and it has a light on the end of it over here, which you can see coming out. Now we take a look at your ear. We'll put it very gently right inside the ear canal, but we don't go too far in. And what we're trying to see is we're trying to see your eardrum. And we very gently squeeze the little squeegee ball, and it tickles, tickle, tickle, tickle. Open real big for me, real big. Ah. Bigger than that, very good. Okay, now you can put your tongue back in. Open your mouth for me again. I want to look at your teeth. That's great. I'm looking at your eyes. Now I want you to look at my light. Put my light over here, that's good. Over here, over here. And we're just going to tap very gently. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Now we check the Achilles. That's good. And now here's a tickle test. <laughs> it's called the Babinski. The doctor is a great body buddy who helps your body heal itself. Excuse me, Slim. But yes, what is it, Flora? What did you mean when you said the doctor helps your body heal itself? Well, Flora, the human body has the remarkable ability to heal itself. Now, let's say I got a cut and I put a Band-Aid over the cut. Well, the Band-Aid wouldn't heal the cut. It would just protect it while the skin had a chance to grow back together. My, that is interesting. Let's say I had a broken bone. 
Well, the cast wouldn't heal the break. It would just protect the leg until the bones had a chance to grow back together. Well, I think I understand. And in the same way, if a person gets sick, the doctor gives good advice or some medicine which helps the body heal itself. What makes a person sick? Good question. Why don't we ask the professor? This is Professor Yubi Schmarth speaking to you from my research center, where I have been studying some of the ways that people get sick. I have determined that most sickness is caused by germs who are just waiting to cause trouble. Now, some of the ways germs get inside are when we breathe in through our mouth or nose or when we eat. And so it is very important not to use the same glass or spoon as someone who is sick, because in that way, you might catch their germs. Also, sometimes it's very important to stay away from someone who is sick. Why, just a couple of weeks ago, I was speaking to my nephew who had the chicken pox, and I was saying he probably caught it from somebody in school. And what's the matter here? Oh, look, red spots. I must have caught the chicken box from my nephew. Poor Professor Schmarr. I didn't know you could catch sickness from others. You sure can. Could I catch something from another plant? Well, it's possible, but I do everything I can to keep you strong and healthy. Liam, how about some nice sunshine? Great idea. I'll take you outside right now. Hello, all you little kitties. It's your old friend, Harry T. Sludge, here with some helpful advice about sharing. Now, you know it's very important to share with your friends, right? Well, did you know that you can share your germs, too? That's right. All you have to do is never use a tissue when you sneeze or cough. That way, you can spray out millions of tiny germs into the air. And then if your friends happen to be walking by, they could breathe those germs in, and it might make them sick. I'm sure they're going to thank you for your giving nature. Another piece of very helpful advice is if you're very sick, let your friends use your toothbrush. You see, the best thing about sharing germs is you don't have to be sick alone. You and your friends can feel miserable together. Now, if, if you have to use a tissue, you can share it with your friends. And now, gang, before I leave you, I've got a little present. But first, you have to open your mouth big and wide and get ready to breathe in. Here it comes. Ah, ah, achoo! Now that was some sickening advice. One of these days, I'm going to catch that character and teach him about the danger of germs. Of course, you should always cover your mouth and nose when you sneeze or cough and do everything you can to stop the spread of germs. Why, any doctor would tell you that. Have you ever stopped to think how many kinds of doctors there are who are part of our wellness team? Why, there are doctors for eyes, for ears, and for noses. Doctors for feet, who'll examine your toeses. Doctors who fix bones when they crack. And doctors who know facts all about your back. Doctors are great body buddies. Doctors want you to be strong. Together, they're on your team for wellness that lasts your whole life long. There are doctors for women soon to give birth. Doctors for babies brand new to this earth. Doctors for children who play and run. And doctors for old folks having fun out in the sun. Doctors are great body buddies. Doctors want you to be strong. Together, they're on your team for wellness that lasts your whole life long. Why, there are even doctors, doctors. at the zoo. But the doctors at the zoo have a special problem because their patients, like this trumpeter swan, can't talk to them and tell them what's wrong. 
In order to examine the animal, a special drug is given to put it to sleep. During this time, the animal has to be watched very carefully. Can you feel the heart? Hmm, what seems to be the problem? Yeah, but unfortunately, this, without the use of this leg, it's going to make this bird very poor prospect for, for anything, because he can't walk around normally. So we better try to fix it. It's time to take an x-ray. It's a reasonably short procedure, but that's, that's what you want, is to keep your procedures as short as possible and still get the information that you need. Thanks to the doctor, in a few weeks, this swan's leg will be as good as new. Troopers, here's General Health, commander of the International Health Brigade. Troopers, there are many kinds of diseases. Some, like colds and flu, you catch from other people. But if your body is healthy, you're much less likely to get sick. And so I want you to make my four-point healthy body plan a habit. Point number one, eat good foods every day so you'll have lots of energy. Yes, sir, eat good food. Point number two, get plenty of active exercise for your muscles. Yes, sir, get exercise. Point number three, get lots of sleep each night so you won't be tired. Yes, sir, get enough sleep. Point number four. Have regular wellness checkups with your body buddy, the doctor. Yes, sir, regular checkups. Remember, you're a team. Troopers, dismissed. Some people have diseases they were born with or that developed as they grew. Diseases such as asthma or diabetes. But with help from our body buddy, the doctor, many of these people can lead active, normal lives. This is Takesha, who has diabetes and has been taught by her doctor to give herself injections of a drug called insulin. Hmm, that may seem like a difficult thing to do, but... It's easy. I just give it in my leg or my arms. She's learned to be very careful about what she eats and to avoid foods with sugar. She and her doctor are a team, and because they work so well together, she's found out... You'll be able to live a normal life that other kids do. The doctor can really help us keep our bodies well. But we have to do our part by taking good care of ourselves and by being good patients when we're sick. Remember, you and the doctor are a wellness team. You're a team, a team. Like peaches and cream, hot water and steam, a team, a team. Like fish in a stream, you're a team.